Sometimes we want to uh, reduce the dip to span on a side of a sail without increasing the tension in the edge cable member. One way of doing this is to add additional cables which will pull at the midpoint. Cables, uh, simple cables like this in M panel are read from the drawing just as uh, lines. So we'll just draw a line in, snapping it of course to the corner and to the mid node. And lines in, in uh, M panel can be read as one of two different uh, kinds of link. They can either be read as a stiff link, which tries to maintain its length and will vary its tension during the relaxation. And that is suitable for, for instance, corner guys or uh, links representing turnbuckles or anything like that. But in this case, we want the tension to stay substantially the same as these uh, cables vary their length in the modeling. So we set it as a cable link. And it is assigned a link tension. The link tension is a, a modeling tension. There is a derivation of exactly what that number means um, in, the, uh, in the help file. But in practice, just regard it as a as a modeling tension that if you put a higher number in there that you'll have a higher tension but there's no direct uh, link between that and pounds or kilograms or newtons of force. Uh, with that in place we can just go ahead now and uh, relax the uh, model again and you can see the new model where the tension from these cables has pulled the effective dip to span, the effective uh, shape of this end into a, a smaller curve, perhaps provided more shade in this area. We can look at the effect of increasing the um, cable tension. Let's put it here to a value of 30. And you can see here how the uh, how the model behaves.